Welcome to the loop. This show is made up of more flaming hot Cheetos than could kill a small little rapper. This is the loop. And it's a talk show about video games. I, I don't get the reference. <laughs> Did someone die eating flaming hot Cheetos? <laughs> Little Zan. He didn't die, but he was hospitalized for eating too many hot flaming Cheetos. No. I guess he had a thing where people would give them to him on tour, and he just ate a bunch of them. And <laughs> he got sick and got I just I saw someone. I love your intros starting this way now. Uh, they're topical, you know? <laughs> I, saw, I saw that they compared two headlines. Uh, one from... Like 10 years ago, it said 10 years ago, rap headline. It was something about Snoop Dogg almost died by shootout. And it was like 2018 <laughs> rap headline Lil Xan hospitalized for eating too many hot Cheetos. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> Progress, right? Yeah, I mean, really. Yeah. I mean, if you're a rapper, uh, people aren't just trying to kill each other. Yeah, that's, that's how it goes. Welcome to the loop, everyone. My name is Eric, and as always, I am 100% less hipster. Joined by Kyle. Hey. And. That one, Jeremy, and then Can Trevor. I can't right. see anything. I was wondering why your glasses oh. were off. Took his glasses off, and it's freaking me out because I haven't seen you without glasses in like seven years. I uh, I took my denim jacket off and my glasses to try to lose the hipster vibe as much as possible. Since I, I don't, I think that's what it is. I, I think like that's why a relevant native calls me a hipster. I feel like this is gonna backfire, you and know, you're gonna be more hipster now. <laughs> you know, Eric, I may be losing mine soon. What? My glasses. Your eyes. Oh, you're gonna get contacts. My 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 guy has been telling me that he I need to get rid of him. Your guy, his guy. You got like yeah, a guy you buy son. contacts out my of a specialist out of a trunk. My cornea, oh. my cornea specialist. Okay, so this guy. is a doctor. Mm. Yeah, doctor. I'm just saying when you say He's my guy, it sounds like a dark alley thing. Hey, you I need to get rid of your glasses. Basically, <laughs> the eye that I had transplanted in most recently, uh, it doesn't require the glasses anymore. And actually having the glasses is potentially mm. causing too much strain in, on that eye. So he wants me to get a hard contact in just my left eye. Oh, that sounds painful. What about a monocle? They are, like, painful. Yes, please get a monocle. Yeah. No. What about double monocles? You pull oh, them out of each yeah, pocket. Exactly. And... Only use the one when I need it, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got to admit that I'm getting a headache. November. I'm just saying. Oh, I got a, I got an appointment in November. And so. I'm cold. So. When in November? Why? Early November, but it's just the okay. consult. They've got to custom make it because okay. it's a hard lens. Just and making they sure have you can to game do a topographical map of my eyeball. Just and making then they can fit it. Yeah, I mean we got twenty four hours of video games. We to do. do. Well, that's so. early November. That's okay, that's what, why I was asking. Third, right? The second, second through the third. Yeah, we're starting at seven p.m. Yeah. on the second, going we're all the way through for four hours. Fur for hours. For hours. Tw fur for hours. 20, 20 for hours. Speaking Get of the fur for, I've been playing a lot of Dragon Quest this oh. week. Oh. And I learned a new term in JRPG world. Let's hear it. Puff Puff. Um, what does it mean? Is that a video, female video game player? Uh, like when, like Powder Puff for football? I had no, I had no idea what it meant. And I was playing, I went to this town, and it was a bigger town that I, that, and I hadn't been in a town for like a, this big of a town yet and uh i'm walking with my you know it's one of those jrpg <laughs> things where your party members uh mm -hmm. like go up your butt or something when you're walking around because they're not around uh it's just your main character and so i'm walking around i run into this girl standing kind of on the corner and she's like are you interested in puff puff oh boy and I was well i mean were they wanting to sell you a reefer i mean i can't i can't say no because it's because you know. it's a video game. Yeah, and I mean, and you got to be part of the. I got to help if it, and I really didn't know what. It, I honestly had no idea what Puff Puff was, but it sounded silly to me, so I said yes, I would like Puff Puff. <laughs> and she says, "Well, please follow me up to my quarters. We will need privacy." Whoa! And uh, I get taken up the stairs into a room, and she's like, "Have a seat on the bed," and uh, <laughs> and then she and I'm like, oh, "Okay." And then she says, "Would you like the lights off for Puff Puff?" 
And I said, no. Because <laughs> you needed to know what it was. Yeah, I know. You don't want no whoa. And she's like, she just goes, oh, you're so silly. And the lights went off. Um, and then uh, uh, I woke up in the bed and there was this strange dude standing over me, uh, like a big dude with like a, with like horn helmet on. And he just and she was like. I hope you enjoyed your puff puff experience and like whoever his name, Andre or whatever is, was here to help. Um, <laughs> and, uh, I, and I don't know what happened. There's no real, real, you know, indicator of what puff puff was. That was there something game? that you it's, end like something you gained after that? No, not that I'm aware of. Uh, oh, it was her dad. See, I didn't know it was her dad. That makes it even weirder. Thanks, oh. Ronan. Uh, so I found a Wikipedia entry. So do, wait, just hold on a second before you give it is to this, us. I'm guessing this uh, is the one. I'm assuming it's Dragon Quest, yeah. Yep. Yep. So I, uh, I, that's all I knew. So, But the best part of it all was when I walked down the stairs... Here's my part. My party has been gone this whole time. They're up my butt or wherever they go when you travel the main world. But like up when you're not butt? like, well, they're not there. I don't know where they went. Where do they go in my pocket? They're, they're at the bar. They don't show up until you do like a battle. Um, so, but I come down the stairs and here's all three of my party members staring at me. It's like the walk of shame with this disappointed look on their faces. <laughs> And like, what's the, wrong with you? The <laughs> one, the one female one is like very upset. She's like, Ugh! and like throwing her arms around like she's very mad at whatever I had just <laughs> partaked in, uh, partaken in. Uh, but anyways, I'm assuming puff puff is a, some sort of a sexual behavior, uh, but it is. It is very into window, into window, in you window, in you window, in mace in you window. So, anyways, Kyle has brought up a Puff Puff wiki. Yeah, and tell, I guess tell us you're gonna in, enlighten us. I mean, should I? Should yeah, I, I mean, enlighten? I mean, I, ruin it for me. Yes, uh, it was very innocent. You know, it was an innocent Puff Puff. I probably just got a massage or something to give me extra HP. Maybe uh, she boosted my MP. Uh, no, it's a, it's a Japanese term for placing of a person's face between a woman's breasts, often oh, for sexual motor pleasure. Oh, it's motorboating. <laughs> okay. Nah. Okay, that's much more. Ta- so why was her dad there to wait, help? Wait, I don't so, know. So <laughs> to get rid of him. So Kuiper's animation was even more disturbing. Now. Yeah, those were slimes that were simulating the female anatomy. Yeah, thanks, uh, Kuiper's. You're yeah. welcome. Uh, yeah. Uh, apparently, they've they've removed <laughs> that from uh, American television broadcasts of Dragon Ball anime adaptions. So Puff Puff isn't just for No, it was, it was originally coined by uh, manga artist uh, Akira Toriyama and featured in Chapter 5 of his series Dragon Ball. Um, it was also a special act available in the Dragon Quest series of video games. Mm. Why is this uh, in a teen-rated game? It's Puff Puff. It's very innocent. You I don't know, know what it is. It's uh, yeah. I guess I guess The Sims has woohoo. Yeah, a lot of woohoo it's going still, on in The Sims. Woo-hoo. I don't know. It's I mean, just... how do you make babies in The Sims? They go I under the sheets. Woo-hoo. It's more graphic than this. This the yeah, lights just true. went off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It just seems like teen games. Don't I mean, if it have. was if it was a the equivalent age bracket for a movie, it would have frontal. Lots of Puff I mean, Puff. I guess more than Puff. Know. I don't know. I guess you don't you don't Puff see that kind of I don't stuff know. in teen games that Puff often. And, oh my! <laughs> uh, welcome to the chat. Uh, uh, what is that? Munch. A, m- munch. I'm going to call yeah. Munch. Munch. Muncho. Uh, Muncho man. Munch on my bed sheets. That's what it is. We, uh, we're aware. Uh, we, we're, we're, we're trying aware not that, to say that, Trevor. But yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks for you. going ahead and saying it. <laughs> um, anyways, he likes uh, to eat in bed. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyways, that's I, I thank you for joining us. It's fine, Trevor. It's just like Puff Puff. I was innocent once it's too. Puff Puff, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> they're picking on you. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I no, I was the same way when it came to Puff Puff. I didn't know what it is. I didn't know what it was. But now he sure, does. But now I know. I thought uh, it was just a thing. You couldn't read it because mm-hmm. it is difficult to read. I, it was well, difficult to read. It was, too. but he all he he read through it. Yeah. All right. He uh, he has a weird thing. I guess we'll read it. I don't know why not. Uh, it says I was thinking it would be cool if watermelons evolved to have human-like muscular legs, uh, but it would be scary because what if they were up late, all right, at yeah. night, and in the dark you hear the pitter patter of watermelon running full force at you. Is this because you were eating watermelon while in bed? 
Why would that? You know how sometimes you do something before you go to bed, and then you have a dream, I and did then that, that last dream night. like takes over like three different things that happen throughout the day, and you merge them all together. I'm just thinking maybe, yeah. may, I maybe suppose, that's what maybe. happened. With the, you I think know? so. I just think the idea of of like human sized watermelons with mas- muscular legs. I, I agree. That is a terrifying idea. It sounds cool until they're running at you, and then you've got a giant watermelon that's trying to chase you down. Yeah, sometimes, I mean, sometimes you have dreams, and I, I, I dreamed last night this random thing that really isn't interesting at all, but I'm going to say it because you reminded me of it. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, my wife last night was throwing out an empty bottle of vinegar, and she said something about, well, guess you can't make, it, make a chocolate cake. And uh, it's because this my mom had this recipe for chocolate cake that didn't actually have dairy in it or anything. The, the, it had baking soda and vinegar in it to make it rise though. That's mm. like, and it, it was really good, but it just, I was thinking about that cake all of a sudden, I guess, but I fell asleep, right? As you do yeah, at nighttime. As you do. Sometimes, as you do. sometimes it's rare for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I woke up th- this morning and I was like, I had to send her a text and I was just like, Hey, I had a dream last night that w- we made my mom's chocolate cake recipe, but we put a different icing on it. We put an icing made out of peanut butter and cream cheese on it. So are you going to try it now? And she said that sounded good. And I was like, yeah. Cool. So it's a true story. Are you going to bring cake for the uh, well, podcast so. tomorrow night? Cause <laughs> no. that's, what, that's what happens. So sometimes watermelons do come to life. Yeah. And just because it happens in a dream doesn't mean it isn't true. Maybe okay? that could become a new video game. Did you notice how we're not getting cake tomorrow? He just totally blew oh, no. right by your no, question. I'm well aware. I'm not. I don't well know. Aware. I don't know when I would make that cake. I don't you know. Should, you wouldn't make it, it for should, us, you could, obviously. You should make it tonight or tomorrow. But then he'd eat it. Mm, I would eat it. the whole cake. Yes. Well, yeah. your wife would have some because you've been cohorting with her. Yeah. I don't think we could all. We the could four eat of you cake. would eat the whole cake and not say right. anything. And not give us yeah. any after okay. telling yeah. us about it. I mean, now I now that would be the case. Yeah, yeah. he's he's like crap. I'm I'm pushed into a corner here. I got to eat this whole thing. Anyways, now. I don't know why I went on that tangent, but Jeremy made me think about dreams. Well, yeah, and I had a cake dream, and then this guy's in here talking about muscular legged watermelons, which also yeah. seems like a weird fantasy. Uh, Whoa, hey, everything he breaks. Welcome to the that chat. Doesn't munch. always have to be. Press the little heart. It's just very descriptive. I know it is. It is very descriptive. I'm I'm just saying, don't, don't, don't push them away. I didn't push. Bring them them into our bosoms. That's weird. Puff puff. So we're puff puff. puffing. (laughs) (laughs) Anyways, puff puff. Okay, so the next show, you're going to start the opening with something related to welcoming people into your puff puff. (laughs) (laughs) That wouldn't be that current of an. That's probably not a good idea. That would have been way too old news. Don't do that either. It's creepy. Yeah, don't do that. Anyways, what else has been going on? I didn't mean to just jump into it. I mean, I, I could probably <laughs> talk about some other things, but, you know. Let's just puff, jump into but, it. But, but puff, when you jump into other things, up. none yeah. of the rest of us get it in. I know. So I stopped. Yeah. I'm stopping myself from going any further from my notes that I have to talk about tonight. Okay. Uh, so go for it. Who wants to say, what have you, what games have we been playing uh, collectively? Well, I, I finished playing... Uh, the Tomb Raider. The Tom Raider. The Tom Raider mm, good has job. been finished. Um, Did you do the tombs? No, I didn't do a whole lot of them. Mm. Um, I don't know. I feel like this game was... It just... The, the further that I got into the story, the more I was like, man, I, like we talked about last week, I just don't really like the way that they pushed her character. I've been avoiding the story and just doing all the side quests. So I'm only about 60% way through the main story but I i'm just, trying to like the side quests are more exciting to me sure like helping can, people in town I to go that. find things i just don't and care killing as much albino about the world. animals and stuff <laughs> there's a thing when you do that kill albino animals yeah. anyway i've i've been playing that game so you finished that game i finished it yep did so. you start anything else uh no, I played some more Spider Man, mm-hmm. um, which is still a great game. Um, they they hooked up a Switch at work this week, and uh, they've got Mario Kart, so I've been dipping my toes back into that, and I'm not very good. I need to get better. Are you saying you play video games at work? On my lunch breaks. Hmm. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
This is very compelling, guys. I'm uh, all my uh, legs. Anyways. Anyways. So, yeah, it's, it's a good game. Very slow conversation. <laughs> I just oh, don't know what do to do when shoe, Jeremy... Do you wear shoes? That's neat. Yeah. Me too. I wear shoes. <laughs> I, I don't so know how to volley back and forth with Jeremy <laughs> when he gets into that mode of... Yeah, I... Cool. Me too. <laughs> so what about the Ludo narrative dissonance? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, I finished. Bad Kuiper. I finished Tomb Raider two. I, um, I think no, it's, it's Tomb Raider. Tomb, Tomb Raider, Raider three. Tomb Raider. Well, it's like Tomb Raider nine or something. I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I I finished it. I thought it was a good game from like gameplay perspective. I had sure. fun with it. Story didn't really interest me, but I honestly wasn't that into any of the stories so far of the new games. Like the, the last two weren't that great for me either um but i think that the i think that they i don't know the the gameplay like i thought that the the puzzles in it were maybe better than some of the la- the other games um like that you solve in the tomb right uh but i mean from from a story perspective yeah i don't i there was a there was one point where uh one of the one of the main characters meets their demise that i and i thought i i it I don't know if it was because I was surprised they did that or I actually kind of liked the character. I don't know what it was, but I was a little bit like, oh, okay, that's pretty sad. Like, I didn't I didn't expect that. And then... It was a little... Uh, uh, if it's the same one I'm thinking of, it was a little underwhelming, too, the way it happened. Yeah, well, like, that's why I think it was a surprise, because it yeah. just kind of happened out of the left field. And it's and just kind of like, like oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean... I'm not sure if I even know what you guys are talking about. Uh, but I'm sure you do. If you beat I the pro- game, I mean, I, I'm to. sure I do, but it's the not... The person that died. Uh, so, um, and like, uh, towards the end of the game. Uh, the anyways, Kyle's like, I didn't By actually play the game. No, I, I did. Think I was By getting shot in the stomach. <laughs> Never mind. Kyle. It doesn't. Kyle forgot. Wait, how did you forget that already, Kyle? <laughs> did you even play the game? I did. I finished it. <laughs> <laughs> it just happened to me like an hour before, half hour before we got on the show. Cause I don't know what he's that. thinking. I don't know what. Are you thinking of like a. It's not like a super main character, but it is to this story. Like it's uh, anyway, yeah. it doesn't matter. Uh, but there were some some storylines. I was kind of like, okay, that's pretty good. And I feel like, I feel like towards the end, she did try to become more of a help, and like she tried to be like, hey, more aware, because she does try to help the people more than like that first village where she just was like, oh well, the, you know, they're flooded out. True. I don't care. Uh, so I feel like some of her motivations changed by the end of the game, and it, they tried to justify it a little bit, but it was still, I don't know, it's still a little rough. But that's, I mean, it's hard because any game where you're just going around shooting people and the shooting is a big mechanic of the game, you can't get around having turned, bodies thrown at you. Like, that's just part of the game. Like I had to turn the difficulty on the, the shooting down because I just kept getting absolutely murdered you in, in a couple of those. Enough. Yeah, you got no, there's, it's not stealth. There's the there's the point where you you crash into this area and there's just a swarm of them that come running at you. Oh, you got to properly dodge, man. What difficulty yeah. were you playing it on? I was playing it on the medium and I could not get past it. And I was finally like, I don't care. Your shooting is not great in this game anyway. So I hmm. set it to the lower one so that I could auto aim and because it's like that was the, what, the biggest what, problem. What guns were you using? I'm just All kidding. of them. Because I. I think only recently did I use anything other than the bow or pistol. Yeah, I, I use the bow most of the time just because of the silence. Because it was like yeah. right well, after same you thing, get the... I've got a s- silencer on the pistol. The, yeah, I had the yeah. silencer yeah. on the pistol. I couldn't... I, I still didn't find where you could put the, the silencer on the pistol. Hmm. Did you not upgrade well, any of your I weapons? Bought, I did. I upgraded all of my weapons. I bought a silencer, and I didn't see anywhere in the upgrade to, to actually... Put that in. Interesting. Where where was that that you're supposed to put that in there? I don't know. It's been on mine for a long time. What are you talking about? Put it in there. Or put just, put the silencer you just buy on it, it and it's on it. Maybe I just didn't have the right pistol for it. Because uh, I didn't see any yeah. options to to arm. I think or to maybe you played a different it. Tomb Raider game. <laughs> no, because <laughs> I, I mean when you no. buy the pistol or buy the silencer, I'm pretty sure it just attaches it. So I must have bought a, a silencer for a pistol. Did that anyone I didn't get have. the? Did anyone get the upgraded blade? The reinforced blade. Yeah. Okay, because that's not that's part like a, of the main mission. Yeah, it is. Uh, that happens in a story. Oh, no, it doesn't. It's You're a right. Side mission. It what? is a side mission. That's but, right. But now I want to go back to the other places just to see what's inside all the places that you have to Yeah, the, you get an upgraded blade that you can cut through rope doors that oh, you couldn't yeah, get through I, before. Oh, yeah, I think I got that. Um, that was a... And the, some of the side like missions... like a motorized, uh, like, 
like rope thing that you get mm-hmm. too if you you have to buy that some of the side side quests were pretty good like the story story wise they were fun to play and and tr- but yeah. it almost had a little bit of hitman in there um for yes, some of that a stuff little bit. uh yeah i i don't i i don't think it was anything stellar or revolutionary but it's a you know it was, it was some fun it was a fun game yeah and i think with stuff like red was, dead it came out on the, the right horizon yeah. that there's oh a, it's hard because like i can't think of anything everything other than i know red like red i can't release Oct- you know, 26th so yeah, you got a whole week october month, 26th I mean, a whole yeah. month heavens <laughs> from today it's just like every everything now though that i hear from that game i'm just like comparing it to other games and like oh this isn't this isn't this is no Red Dead, so... Um. <laughs> Update, the silencer does equip automatically, so it's only with certain pistols. I must not have had the right pistols. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Uh, yeah, so that that game is a fine game. If you want to play it, do it. If you don't, don't. Uh, so, Jeremy, you've been playing that. And playing that. Obviously still, you know, playing plenty of PUBG. Uh, plenty of Scum. Hmm. Plenty, like plenty, like I'm probably putting more of the hours in those two games than anything else right now. I just, mm. I just keep going back to them. I, I found this guy. <clears throat> I'm not gonna say his name, but he's a German um, streamer. Or should I? I don't know. Why not? Should I? Is he good? Just Tell say people? it. He's say playing it. right now. Um, oh, then don't, don't say that. Say yeah, go they'll go kidding. check it out. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> somehow he 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 gets. I think it's because he's kind of a weirdo, but. Uh, it's all in. It's all in. He's in Germany. It's all in German. Uh, he's playing Scum right now, um, and he has a backstory. He says that he was part of like the German secret service. Like he was like a spy. Uh, it's like a doctor disrespect thing. Well, he wears Germany's. camo and he has uh, like like um, like aviator goggle thingies oh. on to hide his identity. He says. Um, and what I can understand from him is like, he's like trying to be in character the whole time, but he'll stream for 12 to 14 hours a day, four or five days a week. And he's in his mid fifties. Wow. Jeez. And he's not good either. That's what makes <laughs> it even funnier. Like watching his gameplay. It's actually pretty bad. Um, but, <laughs> but anyway, I don't know why I've been enjoying watching a German streamer that I barely understand, but uh, it maybe it's because maybe that's why he has people watching him because he's really just <laughs> like not good, but thinks he is. Maybe. <clears throat> anyway, sometimes it's fun to find a new streamer to watch. That's been that's been something I've been putting time in on. I wasn't watching. Yeah, so. I uh, I haven't played I haven't played Scum much. Um, I played it a little bit. When we, for when you first talked about it, yeah. but I, I wouldn't mind getting into it. I just there. I don't know if there's too much unless you really enjoy the scavenging part. Um, there's not much to do yet because they don't have any actual missions that mm. uh, yet. So I'd say give it another six months and jump back in. Yeah. That's what I'd say. Well, and I, I, I yeah, I would hopefully so this summer you've burnt it'll out be... a little bit. No, I'll probably keep like dabbling in it, but I'm like I'm I'm being kind of. Uh, I don't know OCD with the game or something because I'm trying to go to like ma- like learn all of the map and how to get into each of the military bases and then I'm like setting up uh, uh, boxes for stashes of of weapons and um, uh, food and stuff like that like all around in, the place? in all the different sectors That's of, cool, as many actually. as I can sectors of the map. Hmm. Um, I I just kind of like part if I keep doing is, this, is, it'll make me really good when I do have to do. As stuff. soon as there's an update, all that goes away. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the last servers. update they didn't. The um, they uh, all of your if you had a um, a sh- whatever a, a shack or whatever a home base set home base that stayed there and uh, the your boxes and loot stayed there as well. Oh really? So they're. The the main one that caused the big issue was they had to change a specific, um, the save file type oh. because it was having an issue. So they changed the actual file type itself. And because they did that, the old <coughs> saves wouldn't port. Well, and I, it's but, interesting because it would be that that I th- well, it's, I think that's the thing with Rust. Like when they, I would start to get into that, and then I'd be so bummed when they'd wipe the server. So yeah, I, yeah, yeah. And then I'd be like, I'd swear it off. I'd be like, I'm going to play this when it's out of early access, and then I never did. Yeah, so exactly. I, that's kind of what I feel like with Scum is I'm like, I just don't even know how much to commit to it because they're that's just going to wipe my server. Exp- is. Like, I'm, right. I think I'm putting time into it now because I 
I'm waiting for October to hit, if you know what I mean, like yeah. from a game perspective. And so it's just, a, it's just a nice... Beer gardens. Very, <laughs> it's a very low-key like right. game experience oh, really? because you're not actually doing something. Is his brother there? Uh-huh. Um. So Marvel jokes. Oh boy! What? Oh. Uh, it was a good. You do have to search for stones. Kidney? No. Uh, Ooh, you suck. Although I bet they come up with a way that you get can- kidney stones in that <laughs> yeah, game. Yeah, that, that would be that would Seriously. be a very that game thing to do. Uh. Anyways, uh, Trevor, have you been playing any games? Yeah, I. No. I. He doesn't <laughs> play games. Never, never play games. I finally got my. Got a platinum on Spider Man. Nice. The, it's my second nice. platinum I've ever gotten. Um, What's your other one? Uh, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, okay. Was my first, yeah. Um, which I was dismayed to find I don't have all the the achieve or the trophies for it anymore because they added some more for like the New Game Plus stuff. Oh, like, okay. So. Uh, Isn't that fun when you're like I hundred percent of it? Oh, dang wait. It. But it still gave me the platinum, so I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, you still get that platinum before they add other. Yeah. So I mean, at least it lets people know, hey, I played this whole thing. Yeah, I did it for the original once. game. <laughs> but yeah, no, I I was kind of surprised how much I didn't have to do the platinum for Spider Man, because I still have to find. There's a bunch of hidden photos I I still have to take, mm. or I guess like six, I think. Um. So they're not considered part of the hundred percent. No. Um. And. That's weird. Something else I can't. You didn't have to get gold on all the challenges too, which I actually did though. Just yeah. I still haven't unlocked <laughs> but, all the uh, challenges. So you got gold on every. Uh, every. It, it took some <clears throat> some doing. Those ones where you had to swing, I was just like, I'm never gonna get gold on these. The ones where you had to like get the yeah. little chase the drone or something like. Did you chase the birds holy and cow. then the pigeons <laughs> knock all the no. pigeons down? The, yeah, I got all the pigeons. The oh, combat ones for times. me were the hardest to do. Just because you had to do things pretty much flawlessly, you had to vary how you do did different things. Yeah, because you, you had, had those to get... t- certain uh, check boxes that you had to tick for like web so many <laughs> dudes this way. Or well, like... not for the challenges though. Oh, the challenges just had a it was straight score. Oh, they didn't okay. Have any. But you, it was it was really hard though because like I had a couple times where I didn't get hit once, but I still didn't get gold, mm. and I was just like, oh my gosh. Um, but uh, oh, that was that was the other thing. I didn't have to go through and do all the challenges at like the bases and stuff. Oh, so yeah, that's what I was thinking of with the bases where you had to hit to get the gold on those. You yeah. had to hit yeah. the certain types of combat maneuvers or the whatever. Little, yeah, you didn't have to do all of those. I'm I'm um, really impressed with that so. how that game just kind of captured the internet. Like it yeah. just everybody seems to be oh. talking about that game everywhere I look. Yeah. Everybody that on mm-hmm. my Everybody on my friends list on PlayStation is playing that game. Like it is just the I, hottest I, game yeah, uh, in a long time. Someone like went out and bought a PlayStation <clears throat> just for that, just because the yeah. hype of that game. So it's one of those that I think it it hits enough different places uh, for people in the in the way that the game is set up and and the the subject matter itself that True. people just are like. I want to when jump you in. say subject matter, you mean Spider Man. Yeah. Well, I mean just like comic books in <laughs> it's general, easy but Spider Man. Yeah. Understand. Yeah. The hero. It doesn't. Yeah. You don't like, have to buy into some universe that you don't you don't know about. You don't have to learn the lore of the universe because you already know everybody it. already knows yeah. who Spider Man is. So it makes it that much more accessible to jump into the world and understand what's going on and understand who you are as the character. And relate to the, yeah, relate yeah. To the character. Mm-hmm. Well, and didn't... Uh, was it the VP of Marvel who came out and said, uh, this is just <clears throat> the beginning of Marvel MCU on on video video games or something like that? So that, like, it sounds like they're going to be... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. They plan on making a lot more of these. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, they're supposed huh. to be... There's still supposed to be that uh, Avengers game with uh, Square Enix that they haven't really announced much about that's supposed to be coming out at some point. If they can, but. if they can capture good storyline mm-hmm. uh, with Marvel games that are not just the standard, you know what you know about that character, but actually add some more to the universe development of those characters. Yeah, that could be really exciting. Mm-hmm. I think I think a big part of it too is that it's not just this. You have your main missions, and then you got to go and stop crime on the street. 
that randomly happens. Like it's that mixed in with all the different things that it makes you chase in and it, it sets it up in such a way that I don't think most games dare to set up even that makes you want to, I mean, we talked about it before mm-hmm. that, that carrot on the stick that's in front of you because you, you get it piecemealed to you. So you're like, Oh, I want to jump into that and get, get all of that right now. Cause I can, I mean, in a lot of ways, it's what, <clears throat> it's what the Arkham series did for Batman. I mean, it was, yeah. those games were, were good because they were good. They weren't based on a movie. Right. Mm-hmm. They were just their own story of Batman, their own mm-hmm. telling of Batman. And I think that's what made it good. And I, you look at Spider-Man and it's a similar situation. It's not an, it's, it's not. It's a not game. direct rehash <clears throat> either of a known story. No, but it's, well, I mean, it's pulling from all kinds of things. Yeah. It's pulling from the comics. It's pulling from the movies. Right. It's pulling from all of it. But it's um, not it's not a slave an to any of it either. Uh, yeah, of everything. Yeah. But it, it, it's it's a thing where it's like it wasn't it also, I mean, in the same as we were talking about Tomb Raider, it's not a revolutionary game, but it is very it's just a very well made game yeah. with really fun traversal and it has that open world uh carrot on the stick that a lot of games are getting really good at doing. And I think that's and it, it's just one of those that it's like a top tier version of that. I mean, it's a. f I mean it's it's I look at that game if I were to give it a score or something I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Like I think it's a great game but I don't I don't think it's doing anything to like change the gaming landscape. I think it just no, did a no. and that's Yeah, it's but, not like <laughs> oh see how this game changed gaming. Yeah. I guess, I guess for me like for open open world games it feels like it's just a little bit different than other ones because it doesn't overwhelm you with all the different stuff that you can go and do. I mean by the by Closer the to end, the end if, it definitely does. But I mean, yeah. that's if you haven't been piecemealing parts between doing huh. stuff. So, yeah, like, but even still, the map by the end is just littered with stuff. And by the, I mean, it's just even if you've done a lot of it, it's still just all over. Like, it's sure, because you can go back and redo those. And right. Get better. Right. I was gonna say too. I don't know if I. I think I was gonna say it last week. I don't know if I said it. Sorry if I did. But uh, yeah, if anybody wants to platinum it, do those darn crimes. All the, whenever they come up, right? Whenever they come up, <clears throat> yeah. yeah. I saw that that tip before, and I didn't take it seriously. Take it seriously, because do they get harder? No, 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 no. They just get really annoying. <laughs> well, because they don't show up, and like, are like as much. Well, like, well, they show up. They showed up pretty regularly, but it's just kind of annoying. I just would. I would just go to a section of the city at the very end, and I would just patrol it for a few seconds. And eventually, one wait pop for up. one to pop. But that's the yeah. thing is, you have yeah. to queue and wait because you have to right. get yeah. so many Versus of them. Doing it part right. of the yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Luckily, like, they do pop up like every thirty. I feel seconds like if you're so, if you're scanning for stuff, it'll pop up a lot faster. Yeah. Like if you just keep hitting that scan. That's probably true. Yeah. You didn't. I didn't have to wait long. It was just annoying. <laughs> right. To have to do. Um. So. The, the exact quote was from a Marvel exec that said, "Spider-Man kicks off a new era for Marvel um, co- console games." Uh, whatever that means, I don't know. I'm sure that at this point. Uh, I hope that Insomniac doesn't meet the fate of Telltale, uh, but I'm pretty sure that it, that they probably are going. Their next game is probably going to be a Marvel game. Like, I mean, yeah. you could easily see Iron Man working into this model. You could, you know, like he's yeah got a suit and he flies around and does. Yeah, things. I mean, you know, I like think it's you... just, and, and that's the thing that scares me though is like if it is like, hey, this is the cookie cutter for Marvel. Yeah. Games, oh, then they'll get boring yeah. for sure. Yeah. And I think, and I mean, there are a lot of video game, or a lot of comic book games, or were based on the movies that would come out, like you know, maybe five to ten years ago, and those were always terrible. <laughs> um, they would always be, they seem to be better when someone had their a unique vision for it. Uh, yeah, we'll see where they go. I think I, I, I'm, I mean, I'm very curious to see where it goes. I would love to see a Guardians of the Galaxy uh, game in which you had kind of that Red De- or uh, I'm sorry, not Red Dead, uh, Grand Theft Auto thing where you could swap between the different characters as it's telling the story, and mm. you have to play different They're parts. Gonna, then they'll do Fantastic Four. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'd love to. See, I was thinking uh, Hulk. I that could see be a, a fun Hulk dynamic game. because yeah, you could switch yeah. between uh, the thing characters is Hulk, if you will. It would be hard to make that fun because after a while, it would be kind of boring of just Hulk yeah. smash. Like I mean, yeah, yeah, it would just like that. Seem yeah, I, I think they need to make like, a, if they could make a good they could make a good Avengers game where oh, you could uh, where you switch could play all the different characters more of yeah. the main characters. I think it would be much more viable. But they'd also 
honestly, there's certain characters like I think Iron Man, just because hey, you can fly, you can shoot things, you got you've got gadgets like Spider Man, you can like they it would fit into that Spider Man mold much easier than some of the other True. like Thor. It's like okay, you can fly, you got a hammer, but I just oh, I'd be much more excited for a Thor game. Well, I mean, but why though? I mean, I'm not saying because why I'm it's, not, because he can go to space. If well, they did that, <laughs> second player could be Beta Ray Bill. You really have a thing oh, for no. Beta Ray Bill, don't, I don't you? Who that yeah, is. Mm-hmm. he's a space horse. I mean, Thor. I mean, yeah. oh, okay, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> like like Thor's cool. Don't get me wrong, lightning yeah. and hammers and stuff. But I just I feel like if they were, he gonna, is kind of a one trick pony. <laughs> he's like the Hulk that way. Like I yeah. feel like he doesn't what? have Thor? a. He can fly. He's yeah, got the lightning. See, he can smack people with his. But hammer. I'm thinking the, uh, the Hulk can jump really high. Yeah, but I'm thinking and, with Hulk, like, it, you can you, smash if, things if you were, and. It, Turn into Bruce Banner. <laughs> yeah, but if you were if you were Bruce, you could have some puzzle related things that you have to f- figure out and solve, yeah. and uh, that you know require that skill set. Um, and then other things where I, it's like, oh, I've got to get into this military base, and I think from my what I, I guess my point is, is that Peter Parker, at least in this version of Spider Man is pretty much young Tony Stark. How is he making all these <laughs> gadgets? How is he like doing all of? He's like this really talented scientist he can just like do right. all of these things that's true like and it's like th- that's what kind of makes it interesting because it can change up the combat because you get all these different little gadgets right. that can do a bunch of different things and i think that's why i i think this format lends itself to iron man better than a lot of the other marvel characters because of that because there can be the tinkering of i'm gonna change up my dynamics of all what the different I can do. suits he could have yep. tons of different suits like I there's just so much there that's already in place i was thinking of it and i don't know i had this really boring vision in my head and i now i i guess i'm thinking of it in like a almost like like i don't we haven't even played it or seen that much about it but anthem Oh yeah, like to where you could have different kinds of suit. You could have like the Hulkbuster suit, and mm. that that would be kind of interesting. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, I we'll don't see know. We'll, what they we'll come we'll up see, with. Yeah, we'll see what they do. Uh, speaking of Telltale, I did. We'll mention this briefly before we we need to talk about Red Dead tonight. But um, uh, they're they're gone pretty much. They they fired like 250 people. Um, they they closed their doors. Uh, there's a there's some discussion, I guess, that they might try to finish out Walking Dead. Uh, I think that it's the final season of it, but didn't the first episode just release or is going to I release very soon? So. Something like that. the the real The real just scumbag whole thing about this is like, not only did they like call everybody into a meeting, cancel their close all their Gmail accounts while they were in that meeting and Whoa. then tell them to leave within 30 minutes, collect all their things and evacuate wow. the premise. Wow. Whoa. They didn't give them any, they gave them nine days of health care after that. They didn't give them any, any serious? severance pay. They didn't give Good them anything. Grief. So no warning. They're all done. That's now, terrible. Now they go to Twitter of all things and say, well, there might be a chance that we can, we can make the whole, the finish out the season of, of, of Walking Dead. And I'm thinking, you need to freaking pay your employees yeah. before you do anything. Right. Like yeah. that. How can people have any goodwill towards them when they see them like tweeting that stuff? Like, what? How are you gonna? They're, they're like, well, there's some interested parties in potentially funding the fit, the, the you know the f- finalizing of these this at least this story whatever. arc or whatever. And I'm right. just like, don't. How can you do that to these people? You just let go and like. I don't know. The whole thing is a mess, and it, it, it I, looked like a burning train wreck right after you started to see they were just going to make everything into a game. Like, we were, like, like what, a year away from, like, Clifford the Big Red Adventure <laughs> uh, 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 Telltale game? Right. Like, I, I, I don't... Like, sorry, I what, heard, go ahead. Like, the thing I had heard, too, is that there was actually the one that uh, Telltale was actually talking about finishing off was actually Minecraft Story Mode, not well, Walking Dead. okay, season. there's a... That was, <clears throat> there's two separate things, because... Okay. Supposedly, they got funding from Netflix to m- make the Minecraft s- story mode a Netflix series. They were going to transfer it over to where the person, you'd sit there at your TV and use your remote to make the choices and stuff like that. Weird. And so it would be part of a Netflix thing. So supposedly, they got some Netflix funding. Now, there are there are some things going around that say... They're still going to do that because Netflix is in on it, and that's the thing that they're supporting. So they, I don't know, but 
what they're doing with all their staff, I don't know. Yeah, where are they right. getting the talent um, now that they fired all? Of people? But there was a lot of outcry on the internet because they wanted to f- see this whole, and that's what I'm talking about with the Walking Dead thing, where yeah. they tweeted out mm-hmm. something about, oh, well, we can. There's a chance we might finish it, and that was kind of separate from the Minecraft thing because I think right. okay. Netflix has their hands on the Minecraft stuff. Um, so yeah, I, I guess Netflix was like testing out some sort of new interactive media type thing Hmm. i don't know so um well it sounds like there's a i think trevor put an article in our agenda about a a lawsuit that they're they're potentially going after. yeah class action right the all the employees are because there's supposed to be x amount of of notice given especially if you're not days i think yeah especially if you're not i don't know if that's like them so bad yeah, in yeah, California, like it's it's like I don't know what it is, but it's you know everything's based off a previous lawsuit. But it was something where like if you're any type of if any type of mass layoff has they have to give they 60 have to give day yeah. You warning. know what? It probably doesn't matter if they just file bankruptcy and close their doors. Well, the, that's the other thing is like if if a funding deal fell through for them, or maybe they were they were supposed to do another like IP like make a game for another IP, and maybe a funding thing fell through. Maybe they just were that was where they thought they were getting their money from and. It's not there now, you know, like. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, it puts them in a hard spot, whatever, but they just, yeah, there were, there were the promises, there were promises to the employees that they were going to w- focus on infrastructure, but they just kept taking on new projects. Like all those games were the same. Like the only thing that made, made them stand apart is maybe some of them had better stories than others. Like, but it, yeah. at the end of the day, yeah. they, they even talked about how it was difficult to make branching good branching stories because the the technology that the like the infrastructure they were building the games on was so antiquated that they couldn't and they really wanted to focus on building a better engine to make better games yeah because they've been basically just using the same engine yeah for sure it's it's definitely doesn't it looked weird when it first started and now i mean i think with the first walking dead it it was at least like hey this looks like a comic book and this is supposed to be kind of the comic book thing and like i think everybody and i mean he got game of the year at a lot of places like the the that first one and it was fine it was a good story i think yeah they did a great job with it but but they didn't innovate them at all absolutely not that's just it's just a sucky deal for all the people involved with that but Uh, let's see. Well, let's do, let's do some quick bullet point headlines quick, and then we'll talk, we're going to start talking as much as we can before we have to leave about Red Dead. Um, uh, one thing is Sony's testing cro- cross-platform with Fortnite. Of course, the, finally. the billion dollar juggernaut finally made them do it. Um, <laughs> yeah, they uh, were getting so much bad press. Yeah. So it sounds like that's going to be coming soon, and who knows what that's will come insane. from that. That that yeah. other games hopefully potentially will have hopefully, crossplay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, watch it just works, and then Sony's yeah. like, oh. Well, remember, year, wasn't it over a year ago when when Epic turned it on and it and yeah. yep, and, and it, it worked, worked fine. and yeah. every yep. and they were like, what are you doing? It you was very shortly yeah. Yeah. after the game released. <laughs> yeah, so, so it's it's funny because it's like we know it works. <laughs> you you yeah. think about it too, and you're like, how is this going to affect things with the games? I mean. The biggest thing is how are you going to join? The biggest thing is joining the friends because of the whole PlayStation account lockdown. Yeah, well, like that'll if, that'll be different. That's what they're getting. That's what they're. It'll be different because I mean, yeah. here's the thing with with games like this and with Rocket League, it's all, you know, the games as a service thing. So the developer is providing the server. So like right. with this, you're logging into your Epic account, and that's how your friends are connecting is across that's the true. Epic account, not across. So you need to know your friend's Epic username, not their. PlayStation right, or Xbox yeah. or Switch or whatever. So it's already proven to work. It's coming. I mean, why not PlayStation? I think the, fear, yeah. the fear that that they have is that it's going to lose somehow. They're going to lose out on on additional sales but of, that's the, irony, of the right? PlayStation yeah. or or the the games themselves. And it's like if people want to play a game on a specific, I mean, not everybody is going to go out and get every console. So if they make a console choice like that, that you've already lost that. So you might as well allow your people that are there to play games that work with other consoles. Yeah. But but that's the, the irony of it. They think it was helping them maintain their their hold on I, the users. I don't, I, I've I've heard from friends friends of my kids who come over to play because they'll come, you know into the area where I've got uh, a PlayStation, an Xbox, my PC, and the Switch, and they'll go, oh, let's play Fortnite. And then they're like, oh, we can only do three-player. 
well, I only have a PlayStation account. And they're like, well, here, set up a new account. And then they're like, okay, I'll just play from my iPhone. Yeah. And they're like, well, now I don't play on the PlayStation anymore because I can't play with my friends. Well, and here's right. the thing. it's a, It took a free game to make this happen uh, because it wasn't going to happen anywhere other way because PlayStation is on top. They have no reason to do it. If Microsoft was in their position with like the Xbox 360 and this came up, who's to say what they would have done? Uh, it, it, it's one of those things where I think it took this game that's free, and now there's a lot of people who are upset because they do want to play with their friends, and yeah. they can't, right. and they need to just, you know, whatever. They made a move. It'll happen. It's going to happen now. Um, also, uh, mouse and keyboard is coming to Xbox, so be prepared to just get destroyed and everything now. I will. Uh, they did say that it's only the developers specifically have to enable it. Yeah, that's so true. So it's Which not I, just like because it's first coming to what game? They said what game uh, it was. It's some random game that I was not familiar with. I know what it is. I can't remember now. Um, but that's the thing is, hopefully, that the games that are pop like Fortnite or something like that, where this could just easily allow you to destroy somebody they maybe make separate lobbies i don't know i don't know what they'll do or they just want to enable they probably it. just want to enable it i mean it would be great if you have like i mean it gives them the opportunity to put more like mouse and keyboard only games like well a, no i i think it's a i think it's specifically a microsoft push to move more of unification between windows 10 and the xbox oh completely. yeah they've definitely been moving yeah. that way for a i mean while. I, I think the next version of the xbox is going to be running a version of of uh of their main os which it probably yeah. already is yeah. well i'm sure it probably you know is but i mean, I mean like with less a, of a skin yeah. if you know if you know what i mean so where you could just um, you know check your gmail yeah but I which mean, it makes sen- i mean in, to some degree it makes sense that they would do that because they've uh, they've I mean, that's clearly what been does. pushing to to make well, I mean, they've been they've been clearly pushing to make the lines as blurred as possible between a PC and between your Xbox. Yeah. So the the fact that you're going to have more power on whatever the next generation looks like, um, it makes sense that that you would have more mm. of that crossover. I mean, if I could run my Steam games on it <laughs> and my BattleNet games and whatever else. Yeah, I'm yeah. curious. I'm curious to see how that goes. That would be cool. Um, w- w- there, I'm sure the next Xbox will. F- find out a lot about how that works uh one other thing i wanted to mention was forza 4 jeremy's gonna be really excited about this little feature i'm sure you've probably already heard of it but the instead of experience points in that game you earn influence points correct uh and uh a way you can i experience which i believe you demo a way you can earn much more experience is through jeremy's favorite means which is mixer uh they're implementing a system into forza to where if you're streaming on Mixer while playing the game, you earn extra experience. So everyone points. everyone who plays it is going to do it because it's so easy to do on an yeah. Xbox. And th- there's already streams going on right now that are just people who just leave it running with like the <laughs> gas button, tr- the triggered rubber band or something so they can earn a lot of experience. Like people that got early Just like copies hitting the it. wall. Does it, does it yeah. give you just for that or does it have to be like... You've I'm got. Sure it's a time it's just thing. like a time thing. So, but the, here's oh. the here's the real the, like I guess it's not a caveat, but it's just kind of like I don't know capitalism. I don't know what you would call it, but you the more followers you have, or the more viewers you have, the experience you earn goes up. Okay, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. So if you've got like nobody watching it, you still you're, get some. You experience. get something, but yeah. if you've got more people, you're gonna get okay. Yeah. So the more people viewing you, you get All more right. influence in the it, game. It so I need sense. to create a whole bunch of fake mixer accounts. Oh my god! And oh log them gosh. all into my station. And then we'll, Done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> gonna do it. Uh, this. I mean, this game. I. I want to talk. We gotta talk about for, or the other. Whatever the Red Dead game. But th- there's some really cool stuff about this game that I've been hearing and watching, and as the reviews start to come out, and I am actually really excited to play this. It. it like I know Jeremy spent some time with the demo, but like, besides like the seasons and everything, there's just some cool race modes in it that they've added. I like that it's a much more like online. Um, experience like it's always kind of been online but now you can have like 72 people on the server with you at the same time and like i mean i think your party is like limited to 16 or something but i I will say with the mixer thing that does make sense because the last game or i mean the the horizon games in general have been about gaining followers that are that are watching you that was always kind of the race so it makes sense that they're they're going to push their 
their uh, hey, now streaming. Hey, real, now real life followers yeah. will real give you credit Real life will give you yeah. extra credit for it and stuff. Yeah. It's, I think it's kind of a cool idea. It's it's the perfect type of game to give you I mean, it's already, incentive for hey, that. Everybody's already like streaming everything. It's already the darkest timeline in the human society. Yeah. So like whatever, let's just buy into it. Uh, th- but the thing is that I'm the, definitely going to do it. There's no no doubt about it. There's like yeah, there's a lot a of cool a lot of cool race modes. I think that uh, the cars are look really good. Everything. I mean, it's just there. Were, I heard that there were video game racing themed races where they're like based off like uh, Outrun and like other like random like uh, Project Gotham racing. Like they'll say they'll make references to those other games in this game, which oh, is really random. Huh. Like uh, I don't know. There's just a lot that that's here that they're I they're just trying to it, put. It appears they've done a really good job this time. Put a I lot think more I'm of gonna, the fun. I probably will get another VW van mm-hmm. and do the Men in the Tub logo van do it. again. Okay. So everyone do it. You know, or, can look or for that. Or just do something so. a little bit different maybe and, and make I another know. type of – Yeah, make a loop. Yeah. Make a loop van and a Men in a Tub car or something. There you go. Yeah, but, there and you it, go. I'll show but, everyone how to do it on Mixer. Like we said, it's yeah. also <laughs> – It's going to be available on uh, uh, Game Pass, so that's a – Cheap way to play this game. Yeah, exactly. if you're interested. That's how I'm doing it. Um, What's it right. come out? Uh, next next second, week, right? October second. Yeah, wow. So Tuesday. Wait. Oh, Tuesday. Yep. Shoot. All right. I need to send my. I, think, I need to send Tomb Raider. Back. I think unless you spend like the hundred and whatever version, you get it. You can, I think you can play Friday, but I think most of us are playing it through Game Pass or GameFly. Uh, you didn't do the three dollar Game Pass. I didn't see it. That no. I feel like that was something that Jeremy saw that was not there because no. when I looked, it didn't give me the three dollar. Right, Never mind. Died. Red Dead. We got to talk about Red Dead. Yes. There's so much Red Dead happening. Oh, They're starting to reveal it in like waves now. It was like a trickle. Hmm. Now we have waves of information about Red Do Dead. Do we really have to wait a month for this? Well, they game? gave like multi-hour demos to a lot of big, yeah. a lot yeah. of outlets. Like yeah, new, uh, gaming media and influencers got a chance to play through some of it. The thing that excites me most is hearing everyone's story, and everyone's story so is different. different, and it yeah. is the best thing in the world. Like, I, completely different, I, too. I, I, I will say, like, th- I, uh, the the one thing that came out today that people were, like, freaking out is it's going to be a 105 gig yeah. install, yeah. but it's like... Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. It's yeah. The way, I mean, I think Gears of War was, like, 120, so I, I'm, uh, I'm not worried about yeah. it. I think people are um, mostly worried if they're downloading it and well, not buying the digital, yeah. or not buying the physical copy. Well, Cause why? Cause either they, way, it's going to have probably an 80 get over first it. day patch. If well, you're no, da- I mean, if you're I downloading mean, games, though, like you're used to a 60 to 80. Like, what's 100 at that point? Like, I mean, yeah. you're not, not that it's crazy. not a thing that people should be freaking out about. Yeah. Pre download, guys. Um, Pre download. Yeah. And, uh, the other thing is, there was a lot of talk about the horse testicles uh, early on in the trailer where you could see the horse, they were like modeled the horse testicles very clearly in that first trailer they released. The only thing I have to mention about that is I heard that they went so far not only to model perfect horse testicles, but it they shrink when it gets cold mm-hmm. and they hang <sighs> down lower when it's warmer. Oh my god! That's how detailed this now, game is. Now, when you skin a horse, do you get to have? I don't know about that, guys. But the other thing about it is like everything you do when you oh, skin man. something, when you do, you it's put like, something in your pocket, it, it animates it all. Like most yeah. games, it's just like that weird hand hover and it fades away or disappears or what. Like oh, you skin a coyote and you put it in your saddlebag and you see all of that happening and all the NPCs are doing the same thing. Like all of it is animated. It is get crazy. ready for much gorier skinning animations. Yeah. I was excited, excited to hear about your, Very excited. what do they call it, your camp? Yeah. Um, yes, they call it a camp. That's what cowboys do. They eat beans there. Well, in the game, <laughs> how they call it. But, but, and there are things you can do to grow that camp that give it different characteristics and groups of people who are going to be there. But then some people were saying, but you don't have to do those things. They're kind no, of optional. sideline optional things. Um, but I, I guess I kind of like the idea of how that works. Well, and you, so. you move your camp as you like yeah. get mm-hmm. pretty much too much heat on you. It's probably a story thing, I'm assuming. Yeah, but you, so. you, you know, you get too much heat in a town and you move on. Um, Trevor, I want you to, I want to say one more thing, and I know you have. A, did you want to go through some of that stuff on the list? Maybe like some if, of the top things that you saw on there, or I was or did gonna, you have I some other stuff on the top of your? I got a top thing I saw it. on there. Okay. I did want to say, okay, so I just want to share real quick. This is a secondhand story I heard from someone playing this game, but I, I have to share it because it was just the greatest thing I'd heard. They they got a chance to play the game, 
Uh, and what how their story played out is they were hunting some coyotes. They you know, they shot one too much, and if you shoot them too much, you have to just sell the whole carcass. Like, you can't really do much with it. You can't skin it uh, because the skin's no good. So he, he shot two. One he skinned. One he had to put on the back of his horse. He gets into a town to sell it. He says he hears a lady being drowned in a horse trough by another man. He goes up to this man and confronts him. Now, you can pull L2, and that's a dialogue thing where you can, you know, escalate things or you can try to calm the situation down. He interacts with this man. He's definitely not calming down. He ends up killing him uh, because, you know, to save the lady, right? Uh, In the process of murdering this uh, individual, there was someone in the distance riding on horseback that witnessed the murder. Uh, this individual, he freaked out because there's like a little warning that says, Hey, someone just saw you commit a crime pretty much. And he made the decision to hunt that person down and murder them (laughs) because what else was he going to do? Um, after he murdered that person, he decided I'm going to just hang low. Uh, The lady seemed cool about it. Like whatever. I'm going to go hang low in, in, in the saloon for a while. Yeah. Uh, so he goes to the saloon and hangs out. Next thing you know, this lady brings the sheriff into the saloon to report him for killing. <laughs> he says, at that point, he freaked out and he saw a door behind the bar. He was going to try to escape out the back. He jumped over. The bartender drew on him because the bartender had a gun. He <laughs> murdered the bartender. <laughs> he says, then he got on his horse. All because he tried helping this lady. Yeah, he got on the horse and left town and never came back. <laughs> That's now, so awesome. I, now, it's just this thing of where this game is going to have these stories that everyone's going to be telling that are mm-hmm. always unique to them. You can play it out in numerous ways. You can walk up to people and just like harass them you can say things to them you can either be mean to them or nice to them and then well, however you and it all it all forms your character as you play because you become it's kind of that fable thing but like to the nth degree of you becoming a good person I saw that or you a bad can person. have a dialogue with yourself in a mirror yes that's so good you can walk <laughs> up to the mirror and just talk to yourself and if you eat too much food you get fat, you get fat. Yeah. Your, your your facial hair yeah. and your yeah. hair, hair grows grow in like real time real time yeah and so well, that's and then, that's like you can't just go into in front of a customization mirror and, and select just make a, beard. a beard. Yeah. You have to grow you have to it, grow and it, then you can trim you can, it into a mustache or yeah. whatever. Oh I love that. That uh-huh. it's yeah. It, you can't you can't just automatically have you know oh, love big it. hair. That's oh, that's so good. Okay, this, sorry. I, I could talk so much more about it, but I, mean, I want someone else to talk. Well, about and it. then uh, I I heard one one story that was uh, he it was just a little thing. He, he was uh, in this field and there was this guy uh, by by a horse. And so he goes up to talk to this guy, and the guy's like, leave me alone, or something like that. And so he walked away, and then later he hears a gunshot, and he sees that that guy had shot some wolf or something. And then, so he goes up to him, and he, he goes and he greets him or something. He, and so the guy, uh, Arthur, your character, he's like, hey, nice shot. And so then the guy was chatty after that because he was hunting, and he didn't want to talk. Yeah. And it's just like, it's so cool just to see how dynamic and living. And I love the idea. Well, and then I love the idea... Because I've always hated how in, like, Grand Theft Auto and even in Red Dead, it was, uh, like, you did something fairly minor, and then suddenly everybody was, everybody was trying to kill you. Yeah. Because it was like, it was like dang it. Um, but this this whole system makes it so much more dynamic to where you can you can de-escalate a situation to where if you right. accidentally shoot at a guy, yeah. you can be like, hey, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I'm not going to cause trouble. We don't, no need to get in a shootout here. Well, and, and it, it seems just, like you can, so many, everything, <clears throat> like, well, for one, you can talk to every NPC. Every yeah. NPC is, in, 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 you can interact with. Also that, like, every there's just this memory. Everything kind of, everything affects everything somehow. And it's mm-hmm. just like, you do this thing and someone sees it and then they remember. Even to the dogs, like, if you go up to a dog and you pet the dog, it remembers that you pet it. And if you ever come by it again, it doesn't bark at you. And yeah. like, so yeah. like, if you're trying to do like a stealth thing, before you do it, you should pet the dogs and then go back because they're not going to bark at you. Hot tips. And it's just the thing, like, these little, little things that are just, it's just, ah, it's just incredible. Like the mud getting in your gun. If you go through, yep. what, yeah, go through love, waist yes. deep, like, muddy water, you got to pull it out and clean it or it's going to jam so up much. on you. And This just, this list that, that uh, IGN put out with 79 here. amazing little details. We'll go through some of these. Um, I just, I mean, number 29 stood out to me because uh, I know that this, this group uh, enjoyed. Say, say what twenty nine is. Yeah, twenty nine is is horse 
horses poop dynamically. Oh, <laughs> Dynam- yes. Do it. Dynamically. Do yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, after, I after mean, the- it's not Kiefer Sutherland demanding its, his yeah. horse to poop, but still, it's it's pretty But, good. I mean, that, uh, you've got you've got different things where your your uh, downed enemies are marked with a small X on the mini-map, so you can go back and loot their corpses, but you have that to was- go back quickly because other people in your group will oh, go, yeah. go and steal the stuff before you get it, like, if you don't, if you leave it there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's just, I mean, there's a lot of different things in this that just are exciting. There's one, there's a couple that look really weird in that, like, if you lose your hat, it'll suddenly show back up on your on your horse. But then at the same time, it says that if you lose your hat, it'll appear as an icon on the mini map. Yeah, so, well, I think that's or, if yeah. you, like, leave the area or something. Okay. It'll be on your horse to where you don't just always. I do like the idea that you can, it says you can shoot off other people's hats and take their hats. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, that, that is I awesome. Just... My hat now. There's no horse insurance. Um, if the horse dies, it dies. Yeah. So your bond and, and everything that, that happens with your horse throughout the game, uh, they said there's points where you can actually uh, shoo your horse away yes, so that it, I love so that that it doesn't so get killed. Because, yeah, they, they want you to care about your horse so much. And I You're love that to build you can a bond. be like, I, I love that yeah. you can be like, get out of here. I don't want you to die. <laughs> yeah, because in the other game, you'd be down on a cliff, and it'd just follow you off the cliff <laughs> yeah, and die. And die. Yeah, what like, are you yeah, doing? Yeah. You're, like, uh, you're a brilliant horse. The other thing I saw is you could, if you drown someone, it, there'll be a marker on your map to where you can go back and find the body later, Like if because it's <laughs> underwater. Awesome. Uh, you can pay off your own bounty by visiting the nearest post office during the day. Some of these things that I'm reading in here, I'm like, this is this like 100% just leads to online play where you can do this and, and just be your own character that you've created yeah. and do all the same stuff and, and have a blast doing it and, as like building up your reputation uh, and and building up all your I'm your money and everything how that, that transfer how that'll translate yeah. to yeah. the online stuff because I mean just just reading some of these basic things really it, it seems like that could be a huge thing for online the way that you build up your empire in the Grand Theft Auto online and you can you can eventually get a bigger location yeah. and with money you can buy all these things when you can customize like your guns and and all the different little things with your clothes that they said that you can like choose if you want your shirt sleeve rolled up or like yeah. three quarters of the way or something like so they said crazy. it's like a ridiculous mm-hmm. amount of customization that you can do if you want your your pants tucked into your boots or over the boots <laughs> um tucked in baby uh oh, over always yeah over, over. uh anyways seriously just... you guys never worked on a farm <laughs> <laughs> uh that is true on sunday it's over uh, th- they also said thunderstorms. Uh, when thunderstorm strikes, your horse will get visibly agitated. Uh, mm. Like your bond with your horse is important. Increasing the bond with your horse unlocks tricks such as rearing and skid turns. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just it's the systems they have built. I mean, it, it's something only Rockstar can do because they, of their money and yeah. their resources. And like they've and they're putting it all into this. And it's cool to see. Hey, this is the first game that's being released by Rockstar on this console generation. And that's right. So, I mean, I mean, they made a port of it, Grand Theft Auto, but right, that was but that built was... for the infrastructure yeah. of the 360 uh, and yeah. the PlayStation. So they're going to show how amazing they can make it. I mean, yeah. the only the only thing that was really new on that was was online heists when they put that and out. Even the, that was so that was, broken when they launched yeah. it. Like yeah. the, the art in this game is just amazing. Yeah. The, the, yeah. It's just like one of those things you just look out and you can see these vast mountains and just, I there, I just, yeah, I, I can't say anything bad about this game right now. I just want to play oh, it. it. I just sounds, want, yeah. I am very excited to check this out. And, uh, Anyways, yeah, I don't uh, that you could probably Google that article. Just Google seventy nine amazing little details in Red Dead Redemption, uh, just, and you can see all of them there. I just yeah. thought of well, something. How how cool would it be if the online version was like you're building your own, uh, your own like city where you're in charge and all the rules go your way. The uh, like the the whole premise of uh, I'm watching it Deadwood. I was just like, gonna say you've been watching too much yeah, Deadwood. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome though. Like if you're if you're like, hey, I'm gonna build this place and I'm I'm I mean, in charge here. I'm not sure if that like applies to like an outlaw lifestyle, which this game is. Yeah, kind I feel of like you need to keep moving after. But maybe maybe Kyle, maybe there'll be something there for you. It'll just be your place that you start, go back to. It'll start be like, starting it'll your be empire. A cave or something. Start a tweet campaign yeah. to Rockstar now. And uh, hope. Let me build my dead wood. Yes. 
Uh, all right. Well, I don't think we have any emails or voicemails this evening. Uh, but if you would like to email us, you can send us a message at uh, to the loop at minutetub.com. Or you can call us at 475-TUB-CALL. That's 475-TUB-CALL. Tub Leave us a voicemail. We'll play it on the air. We'll discuss whatever you want to discuss. But we cannot forget. We can't leave. I want to leave. I want to go home. I'm, 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 I'm finished. But I do not want to do it without thanking our Patreon peeps. That is correct. These are all the lovely individuals at the co-producer level or higher. That means they donate $10 or more each month. Uh, and you can see their names in Shining Patreon Coral. That's God of Atheists and Jolliver. Now, if you too would like to be famous like them uh, and have your name added to the list, go to patreon.com slash tub and subscribe at the $10 level or higher. If you cannot afford that, you know, you could do a dollar or $5 or $3 or $2.59, whatever your heart desires or your wallet allows. Um... But, but yeah, you can do that, and you're awesome. Like, we, we thank you. We appreciate it. We're grateful. Uh, you know, sometimes, you know, we don't have a big Patreon. We don't make a ton of money, but we make enough that, like, we feel very responsible to our audience. So, mm. yes. Thank you for doing that. Uh, and I think that about does it for the show, but do not forget to tune in tomorrow night for the Tubcast. We're, we'll be back talking about everything and nothing all at the same time, yep. uh, and who knows Except what. Except for will video come games. Up. Yeah, that's yeah. all. That's yeah. we have a sacred night for video that's games. Right. Yeah. That's it's, Wednesday. It's everything but. So all the other stuff is right. you know we can talk about little Zan eating too much flaming hot Cheetos. We can we can talk about yeah, whatever Stormy Daniels descriptions of our president. We can talk about a lot of things. We can talk about Bill Cosby and how our childhood got arrested today and went to jail for three to ten years. <laughs> oh, we can never have the Jello pudding um, again. We can't you know we can't have the Theo or the, the Rudy. That's it's all it's all over, you know. It is. It's just it's sad. I don't I don't know what to do with myself. Oh yeah, extra life. It's coming up soon. Yeah. Check it, it out. November second, starting at seven PM. We're gonna be playing video games for twenty four hours. You do not wanna miss it. I'm trying to find what our, our uh, link is again. Extralife.org slash team slash men in a tub slash men in a tub yep go to ex what it's supposed extra to be. hyphen life.org slash team slash men in a tub you can donate to us there to help us raise money for the children's hospital yeah uh, it's gonna be a fun time you are not gonna want to miss that tune in for some of it it'll be fun okay uh, yes yes that is right all right everyone I said uh, we'll see you tomorrow night